All right, Luke Hill, who uh, also goes by his nickname, Luke Dude, uh, is from Hagerstown uh, in Washington County. He currently, uh, he is currently uh, a senior at uh, Washington County Technical High School and studying uh, multimedia and graphic design. His favorite subjects in school are at or art in uh, math, and he hopes to one day uh, self-publish a book of idioms. For those of you who uh, are not familiar uh, with uh, what an idiom is, it is uh, a figure of speech, which means they are not always uh, meant to be uh, taken literally. Like, don't count your uh, chickens before they hatch or a penny for your ball. <laughs> Luke loves to illustrate uh, through his art uh, to help uh, people, particularly uh, those with autism, um, understand uh, what a certain idiom phrases mean. All of this helps him and his uh, dream to someday create films. So, no more beating around the bush. I don't want any of us to miss the boat. <laughs> You are about to hear the whole nine yards straight from the horse's mouth. Here he is, the best thing since uh, sliced bread, Luke Hill. Okay. Hi. Hi, my name is Luke Hill, also known as Luke Dude. When I was less than two years old, I lost my words, and my world became painful. Clothes hurt, sounds hurt, and hugs were not fun. I didn't want to smile. I only want to drink milk and eat french fries. And I really love french fries, and I still do this day. <laughs> Sometimes I want to be with my family, and sometimes I want to be alone with my own thoughts, and I would hit anyone who bothered me. I also screamed a lot. I was diagnosed with autism when I was three years old, but my parents and my teachers didn't give up on me. Even though I didn't talk, I wanted friends. I was lonely. My transformation started when I was in kindergarten, and I remember my paraprofessional, Mrs. Metz, talking to me and helping others learn how to talk to me. In second grade, I started drawing all the time. I now call it being a pre-artist. I started drawing a boy named Daniel and his robot named Dreamy. And then I drew the Wonder Minis and the Ninja Frogs. In fourth grade, I made my first calendar and using a different Ninja Frog picture for each month. And I made it by hand and gave it to Mrs. Metz for Christmas. I kept drawing all through middle school and high school. I tried to make people like me through my art. I thought if they like my art, they might like me too. I used the Spyros the Spy characters in most of my drawing and art projects. If you don't know what these guys are, they're the black and white characters that are trying to defeat each other in a Mad Magazine cartoons. I even made motion cartoons out of them on my DSi game console. And I emailed some of my drawings to Peter, Co Peter Cooper, who is a current Spy vs. Spy artist. He said my drawings were some of the best fan art he has ever seen, and he encouraged me to keep on drawing. I once drew an anti-bullying poster using those characters, and my middle school art teacher had me paint it on a wall at school. In ninth grade, I created my sock puppet named Ak and continued to draw the Spy vs. Spy characters. In tenth grade, 
I met Mr. Dockwich, founder and CEO of High Rock Studios, to ask about a short-term internship with them. If you don't know what High Rock is, it's a high-tech media and marketing agency, agency in Hagerstown. I joked with them and said it should be called High Rock Studios. <laughs> Mr. Dockwich thought it was very funny and gave me a project. He wanted out to interview the folks at High Rock Studios and make it to a short film. I had to storyboard the project. Then the team at High Rock filmed Ark doing the interviews. They edited the film into a fun 10 minute film called High Ark The Journey Begins. To top it off, High Rock premiered the film at the Lightest Book Cinemas and even made a real movie poster for me, which is right there. <laughs> yesterday, uh, yesterday, I graduated from the Multimedia and Graphic Design Program at Washington County Technical High School. <laughs> I am enrolled in a simulation and digital entertainment program at Hagerstown Community College. Maybe, who knows, maybe I'll meet some people who like the same things I do and make some new friends along the way. I'm not really good at graphic design, but I am really good with multimedia. And I like to draw cartoons in Photoshop at school using my original characters, such as Og, Al Dente, and the Crazy Goods. Mainly I drew it on the iPad, but I just draw it on Photoshop at school. I also like to make note cards and still make calendars. Friends buy them, I've given some away as gifts. And earlier this year, I Lightest Book Cinemas bought some of my calendars to help raise money for my local unified sports program. One day, I hope to make a living using my cartoons. Last year, we went to Comic-Con in Hagerstown. My mom and dad showed Ron Wilson, a Marvel comic artist, even around like 1975, some of my work. I asked him how he got started in business. He was very nice and helpful. He told my mom and dad that I am gifted and should get my work copyrighted. Well, that's me so far. My transformation is not done, however. I still feel lonely at times, but I keep learning, keep creating, and try my best to let others know about my art, and hopefully we'll make friends along the way. Like the movie title says, the journey begins, and now it continues.